Hey everyone, so basically, um, in the last video I made showing had a macro on Ken Omega, someone in the comments asked if they could um, see how it's done on uh, Project Beatdown. I've been playing Project Beatdown a, a bunch since Ken Omega is kind of dog shit now with the uh, all that pay to win stuff. So, like last time in Ken Omega, you want to use Tiny Task. I'll, I'll link it in the description this time because a lot of people had to ask for the download. Um, I heard from a friend that the site is down. I don't know, but I'll, I'll just try and link it if I can. Um, but what I do is I go to this place because they have $18 stuff. I, I mean, I would go there with the $15 sandwiches, but um, it's just really populated there. So if you're doing um, sit-ups, I suggest putting your back to this thing so you, if you move you don't go away or if you have handstands push-ups face against the wall because you your handstand push-ups push you back so just like freaking Omega um, what what I usually do is I'll, I'll uh, uh, no nah, usually I go here and um, I go pretty close to it Actually, I prefer to be on this side. But um, you want to make sure shift lock is off. It's very important because shift is a keybind to record. So what you do is you have your sit-ups out, and then you record and you do your sit-ups. Um, now I, since food is pretty expensive in this game, I usually get like around 3k or maybe 4k, and I buy it every um like five or I buy it like every six or eight or ten minutes um, I don't know how many reps it'll take you or I don't know how long six minutes is or six to ten minutes is for you like based on your stamina and shit but um, that's usually what I do because that's just how long it takes for my uh, hunger to drain um, if you want to go for longer I mean you go for it I just usually don't have the patience for that but um, you never want to let your stamina drop like to like right here because then the burger just like won't uh, fill it all. But um, let's say I did, let's say I've done like seven minutes of sit-ups or whatever, right? And I'm ready to eat. I'll unequip my sit-ups and then I'll buy the cheeseburger and eat it, and then go back to sit-ups and end the recording. So when I start the recording. I do all my push-ups, and then, oh, by the way, at the end of doing your push-ups, you want to make sure that by the time you end your recording, you want to make sure you're full stamina. Um, so, once you do all your sit-ups or push-ups, it really works with anything, even squats. Um, one thing I would not suggest, though, is doing push-ups if you're really close to a... Uh, so I knocked myself because I was I was low on stamina when I started, um, but I wouldn't suggest doing push-ups if you're really close to ranking up in push-ups because it automatically re-equips re it and then your timing will be off. Um, it'll just be really slow and it'll keep canceling it, so just don't do that. A really bad idea. Um, so yeah, I mean that's basically it. it. It's the same as Ken Omega except you just buy these cheeseburgers. There's no. Uh, there's no real buff in this game for stats like that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I guess I'll show off boxing too, since, since I just got the boxing skill. Um, this is the this is the basic combat. My, my combat speed is, is pretty fast, but I think I can be faster. Um, the the first hit comes out really fast, so what, what I usually do is I dash in and do the first hit to start the combo. And then do the other hits, um, and then I have the skill. It's a bunch of jabs. Um, the first, like, I don't know, I don't know how many hits it is exactly. I think it's five, but the first four up to the last hit, whatever, however many it is, um, don't break blocks, but the last one does. So what I usually do is I here wait. This is what I usually do. I either start with a flash, because you can punch while you're doing the flash, and it just does like a bunch of damage. That's what the move is called. Or you can 
do a punch and then like do a combo up until the fifth hit and then do the flash. Um, I think my friend's macroing there, so I'm just gonna test it on this poor civilian. Yeah, but I'm almost black belt. I'm I'm hyped for that. That's gonna be epic. So I usually, if I'm in an, like an actual fight, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll like dash in and then punch and then do the flat. Well, that guy he didn't really have much HP, but that's it's just an easy like you add it on to combos. It's not really a combo extender because um, the last hit of it knocks away and ragdolls, but um, it's basically two combos in one. And then I think the the second boxing move is a ground slam. I just don't have that yet. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the boxing skill. It's really good. It, it I think it does as much as a five hit combo. I'm gonna do it to my friend here. Just so that he... I fucked it up because he moved. nerd <laughs> but yeah the boxing skill is super good I think the best skills in the game though are the karate skills or whatever has that slide kick because you know if you if you hit from behind they can't block it so it, it puts you behind them and it I think it breaks block anywho so yeah it's pretty good um, but yeah that's boxing skill and how to macro that's what I usually do um, now your safety isn't guaranteed in here, obviously, since it is a pretty popular place. Oh, what this guy is doing is smart, too. So, when it pushes him back, it'll hit the cashier, and it won't push him back. Um, but yeah, that, that's how you macro. You don't have to macro at the pizza place, or the burger place, obviously. You could macro at the pizza place, but it's probably not too good of an idea. I mean, I guess, I feel like no one would actually bother, bother you if you just macroed here. And, like, bought, but the... The food here is expensive as hell, so I wouldn't suggest it. A lot of people, I know a lot of people macro in the um, sandwich place, but that's just like, it's so popular, dude. This is where like everyone does their free training, so I wouldn't suggest it. A lot of people just go in the dark and just don't eat, and then, but they get like 10 minutes of training, so it, like it's literally not worth it. Never, ever macro in this game if you're not going to be at a place with food. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it, though. I'll link the tiny task in the description. Uh, I forget who asked. Um, Omid Sarwar. Shout out to him. He asked for this video. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys find this video helpful. I've been grinding the shit out of this game. I think it's super fun. Way better than Ken Omega. 100% I have support for this game. Because there's no pay to win. Everything is cosmetic. Surname, dude, your last name, yeah, it, it gives you stats. Um, yeah. I hope, hopefully, next update, they add in, um, you can see, <laughs> this guy's in the fucking garbage. <laughs> um, he do be spinning, though. Hopefully, next update, they, uh, they add some, they add it so that you can see your traits. I think, th I think I'm actually just gonna make a video on how to do a beginner's guide. Because a lot of people have questions, and yeah, beginner's guides are pretty pretty cool. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. That's it. That's how you macro on Project Beatdown.